Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam, and today we are going to uh, check out the UI Collection View class that is included in the iOS 6 framework. So let's get started, and we're going to start from the very beginning. I'm going to go and create a new project, and uh, going to choose uh, the single view application. Let's go ahead and do next, and then say UI Collection View Test. You can name it anything that you like. Um, we're going to make it for the iPad since UI Collection View looks much nicer on the iPad giving you the more space to uh, basically put your put the elements. Okay. So here's our project. This is of course the storyboard because in iOS 5 storyboards were introduced and uh, they help a lot. So we are going to try to use storyboards and uh, the problem with this of course is uh, it's very very large as you can see uh, let me go ahead and run it so you can see that it will be a simple blank slate that we are starting with and this is going to be a little bit long tutorial so if you want to grab a coffee or something go ahead and do so so here it is our iPad uh, simulator is firing up and we see that there's nothing basically displayed on the screen um, we are what we're going to do is we are going to use a uh, collection view controller and you can simply drag it on the screen and uh, basically what I'm going to do is remove the default controller and here is the collection view controller and if you look closely you'll see the first cell that is being displayed over here now a collection view controller I know I've been talking about it but I haven't defined it so in the previous versions of uh, basically the iOS and the toolbox included the table view controller which is kind of like a list right which you can swipe up and down and you can see items but they are single cell items so they will kind of appear in the list now if you want to make an interface kind of like a Facebook application interface where you have one item over here one item over here one item over here kind of like a grid like structure then for that purpose we can use UI collection view and that is what we are going to do over here um, so I've already created this uh, UI collection view controller and now I can go ahead and add a new file which will be which will serve as a controller for this particular uh, view that we have created so I'm just going to say uh, customer collection view controller okay or you can say customers and instead of the UI view controller we are going to use UI collection uh, collection view controller okay and uh, just going to say next and going to create that and there we go so the files are actually added I'm just going to move it uh, maybe up over here somewhere all right and what you need to do is now you have this particular this on the design surface you can see this uh, basically a collection view controller but um, you cannot really you know you cannot really uh, link to it link to this one okay so it's pretty easy I mean if you go to uh, this over here a custom class and you can see this isn't right now UI collection view controller and if you see over here you will find customers collection view controller which means that now you have this file that you created which is a UI collection view controller this will respond to whatever events are taking place over here okay uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and do something with the cell so this is a UI collection view cell just like table cell you can arrange it okay and um, we're going to go over how to customize it later in a different tutorial but right now what we want to do is uh, we want to give it some sort of a background color so I'm just going to say yellow color okay let's go ahead and save it and then run it and you will see that it's not being displayed the reason why it's not being displayed is, is of course that there is nothing that is being returned so the collection doesn't really contain anything so it won't really uh, you know it won't really uh, render basically correctly so at this point what we need to do is we need to implement some of the uh, methods in the uh, delegate and I would say that the most of the methods are contained in the UI collection view data source so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, the uh, documentation for that 
and see different kind of methods. Now since, uh, let me actually show you that since we, we are inheriting from a UI collection view controller, so we don't explicitly have to declare the delegates because if you go over here, I mean, if you, I mean, you know, if you uh, jump into collection view controller definition, you will see that it already implements the UI collection view delegate and UI collection view data source delegate. Okay, so you don't really have to do that if you are inheriting from UI collection view controller. So these are a couple of methods that it exposes. Uh, you can say number of items, a number of items in section, a number of sections in a collection view. So let's start with this one. And what I usually do is I simply copy the whole thing. And if I go over here, oops, uh, I just want to open it over here. So this means that the number of sections in the collection view uh, to make this a screencast very simple. We are just going to return one because we are just going to have one section for our whole, uh, basically the whole view that is going to be displayed. I'll talk about more about the sections when we uh, when we are actually implementing uh, multiple sections. All right. So over here we have a collection view number of items in section. Okay, and uh, this is the number that is actually going to be displayed. All right, so this is basically if you are returning a collection of customers, so this will be the customers dot length or customers count or whatever, whatever the number is. So I'm just going to return 10 over here. Okay. So we, we got our number of items in section and we also uh, got the number of sections as collection view. Let's go ahead and run it and see what is going on. And here we go. So we uh, get an exception now, which is of course saying that the cell for item for index path is not really defined. So let's go ahead and define that. And if you're familiar with the UI table view, it's pretty much similar to that. You're going to return a UI collection view cell. So this is the method It's called cell for item at index path. And basically it returns a UI collection view cell. So if I go over here, it's going to go over to the implementation. Okay. And uh, now we have to return the UI collection view cell. So if I go to my storyboard and see, yeah, we can use a collection reusable view identifier over here. And um, what I'm going to use is, uh, let's say, just going to say customer cell. Okay. I'm going to return back over here and um, we're just going to say UI collection view cell cell equal to and then we are going to use a collection view uh, DQ with identifier and the identifier in this case will be customer cell for index path and uh, let's go ahead and return this So here we go. This is actually how the uh, you know the uh, UI collection view displays, right? And if you're familiar with the uh, Facebook, basically the Facebook application, uh, the front page or the home page, which give you different options that you want to go to chatting, you want to go to the messages, you want to go to mail or something, it displays kind of like this. So you have a grid layout using a UI collection view. Of course, it looks kind of pale because it doesn't really have anything right now but later on uh, in the next tutorial what I will do is I will add different things over here and you will see how to add a footer and header and then maybe in the future we'll also see different kind of sections which will come out to build uh, application like Netflix because it has different sections and scrollable sections okay so I hope you like this uh, video tutorial and um, that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching